Alright, what if I have to use completing the square for a non-monic quadratic? That is, a quadratic where the coefficient of x squared is not 1. Well, it turns out it is possible to do this using the standard technique, but you have to be very careful. This becomes root 2x squared, and then you end up with root 2s here on the denominator, and it's a big mess of thirds. It turns out there is an easier way. And the easier way is to first write this as a monic quadratic. How do I do that? I take out the factor of 2. It's x squared minus 5 on 2x plus a half. I've taken out a factor of 2, which means I have to halve every coefficient. Well, now I've just got a monic quadratic with fractions. So, 2, x squared minus 5 on 2x, leave a space, plus a half. What's going in that space? I need to halve this term and then square it. So that's 5 on 4, whoops, I've got my plus sign, 5 on 4 squared. But if I'm adding 5 on 4 squared, I bought it better subtract 5 on 4 squared. OK, don't forget the 2. This bit here becomes x minus 5 on 4, get it right, squared. Now, what have I got left? This is minus 25 on 16, and this is a half. Well, a half, 1 over 2, is what over 16? It's 8 on 16. So, 2, because it's quite complex, I might actually write that out. x minus 5 on 4 squared minus 25 on 16 plus 8 on 16. So now I have negative 25 plus 8. Well, that's negative 17. 2, big brackets x minus 5 on 4 squared minus 17 on 16. Now I have a difference of squares. So 2 times x minus 5 on 4 plus root 17. What's root 16? It's 4. And x minus 5 on 4 Oops, minus root 17 on 4. And I can simplify that, taking the brackets out and putting all the over 4 bits together. 2, x, take away 5 plus root 17, minus, how am I going to write this? Um... I think I'll confuse, if, if I write it the way I want to write it, I think I'll confuse you. I'm going to go plus negative 5 plus root 17, whoops, that was a 17, not a 7, over 4, and x plus negative 5 minus root 17 over 4. And there we have our usual pattern of two third conjugates. Um, as my solutions.